Oh, we must retain children's innocence for as long as possible. You mean their ignorance for as long as possible. There are still a lot of people who push forth the notion that we need to retain the innocence of children, and it's just like, why do you want them to be ignorant? It's not about ignorance. Yes, it is. Ignorance is bliss. The less they know about, the less problems could happen. It's like, it's like a car. The fewer options are on the car, the less things that could go wrong. It's the same sort of thing. Now, many of the religious parents out there want to teach that their religion is the only real truth. Well, children are sponges for information. If you indoctrinate them with that sort of thing right from the start, yeah, they're going to believe their religion before they believe anything scientific. They're going to believe the religion before just about anything else, because that's what you've taught them. You know, and some people teach their children that to even think something sinful is a sin. Yeah, that's, that's real nice. Let's destroy their creativity. Great idea. Well, I mean, some of you believe that the way to raise a child is to break their will. Good job. Good job. You're destroying your children. But I suppose you'll think it's a good thing, right? In this age of information, it seems to me that we should be trying to get them as much information as we can because they're sponges for information. Yeah, it makes them a little harder to control. It means there's a little more chaos. But having intelligent, educated children is a good thing. Maybe some people are even scared that they might be learning more than the parents. But of course, you know, children, when they learn something that they think they know more than the parents, they'll rub it in as much as possible, even if they're wrong. But that's just how that goes. But you know, we must retain the innocence of children. Whatever. Speaking of religion, something I think is really funny is when people try to tell me over and over again that, as a gay person, I should be more afraid, I should be just terrified of Islam and have no worries at all about Christianity. And I have to laugh at that. I mean, you'd be right if I was going to an Islamic country. But Muslims make only 0.9% of this population. Okay, I don't really have much to worry about. And in this country, Muslims are usually leftists because the right wing rejects them. The religious right wing rejects them. You know, a lot of people on the religious right think that religious freedom only means that you have the right to choose between any Bible-based religion that you want. They don't think it includes the freedom to not be religious or the freedom to believe in Islam or something else. Something people don't think about very much is that Muslims in this country would much rather the government be secular than to be based on Christianity. If you've ever wondered why, you know, another reason why Muslims tend to be on the left. So they can practice their religion without being given a hard time. Now, do a lot of Muslims believe in Sharia? They might, but they don't have any chance of implementing it into, into law. People are saying, oh, well, well, the, the leftists, they, they're supporting Muslims. They're not supporting Sharia. They're not supporting cramming religion down people's throats. Remember, most people, including leftists, are Christian or are believe in some sort of Bible-based belief system. Just because they don't believe in cramming it down everyone's throats doesn't mean they're not religious too. Now, this is changing. There are fewer and fewer religious youths now than ever in this country, but... Uh, that doesn't mean that the ones that have power aren't religious still. You don't see the politicians saying, oh, we need to stop saying God bless America. You see that in schools, and we have uh, right-wingers freaking out saying, oh, they're, they're, they're anti-Christian, anti-what this country was founded on. This country wasn't founded to promote religion. Most of the people may have been deists, most of the people may have had some sort of a religious belief system, but they didn't think this country was founded to cram religion down everyone's throats. Just saying. Most of the Muslims that are out there that are being rather political are just trying to get the right to practice their own religion. 
maybe have the right to wear some sort of a head covering, have the right to take a break from work to to do their religious prayers or whatever. But we're supposed to have a separation of church and state, regardless if right-wingers disagree and think everything should be based on the Bible. 